Hey, Jason. Uh, Tomer Zarli from Clutch Points. Um, just seeing you celebrate, um, you know, getting to the finals, uh, watching with the Kobe armband, like when you look back at moments of your life, um, you know, maybe on and off the court, is there any like one moment that sticks out to you um, when you think about getting to the finals? Um, one moment, it's, it's tough to just to, to choose one moment. Um, you know, I just kind of reverted back to being a kid, um, you know, watching the finals every year and you know, growing up. Um, you know, every kid can imagine themselves being in the NBA and being in the finals. Um, but, you know, actually living out your dream in, in real time uh, is a surreal feeling. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you got to pinch yourself, right? I walk in, I see this backdrop and it's like, damn, I am in the finals. Uh, so I'm just trying to take all this in and, and, and just enjoy, enjoy the moment. Standing over here on the right, Tim. Jason, sort of to that, to that point over here in the corner, sorry. Um, obviously you mentioned different background, being here for the first time. You guys have obviously been to the conference finals a bunch, been in the playoffs, deep into the playoffs a bunch. Does it feel different now that you're here? Does it feel like a different level of the playoffs or a different level of excitement or is it sort of an extension of what you've been through before? Uh, no, it definitely does feel different, right? It's a lot more media, a lot more obligations. Um, you know, so this, it, it definitely does feel, feel different. Uh, I'm sure, you know, basketball is still basketball, but you know, all the things leading up to it, um, uh, you know, it's unlike anything else. Jeff in the middle. Jason, Jeff Zilge at USA Today. The other night after game seven, you had mentioned that, and you brought the topic that people had talked about the idea of splitting you and Jalen up. And you said, instead of splintering, you became closer. Uh, how and why did that happen? What, what was it about the relationship that you two have that allowed you guys to make it work? Um, I, I honestly believe just, you know, two young, extremely competitive guys that, you know, just really want to win at, at, at all costs. Uh, so I think, you know, obviously that made us, that made us closer in the sense of we just wanted to figure it out. Uh, not necessarily prove people wrong, but just prove that, you know, we can win and, and, and put ourselves in a position to do that. Um, and it was tough, right? At, you know, at a certain time we was three games under 500 um, in the 11th seed. Uh, I'm sure not many people would have thought we would have gotten to this point. Uh, but, you know, there was always a sense of belief between us and the group that uh, we were capable of figuring it out. Melissa here on the right. You talked about how you're kind of living out your dream after, you know, as a kid growing up, always watching the finals. Um, do you remember watching the Warriors specifically in the finals? And, and what do you remember from that? And what does it feel like specifically to go up against them? Yeah, um, I think they won in 2015, right? I was still in high school. Um, I had just finished my junior year uh, and David Lee was on that team. And David Lee is from St. Louis. Uh, we went to the same high school. Uh, so yeah, I've been watching them for a very long time. Joe? Hey, Jason. Uh, to the earlier point about being, about the whole idea of splintering with, with you and, and Jalen, um, you guys started this year not very well and it is late as January 16th I think you were in 11th place did you have a concern at that point over the start and then maybe this actually wasn't working out um a concern no were there like moments that were tough right that was just like you know it was very frustrating and uh, you know head scratching and all those type of things uh, it was, it was more so just how can we figure it out? It wasn't like, man, we can't do this. This is, you know, we got to figure something else out. It was just, it was tough. Um, there were definitely some tough moments because, you know, I always remembered the, the fun moments. My first year going to conference finals, um, the bubble year going to conference finals when, um, you know, we were winning all the time. And, you know, the beginning of this year, every game was like, I don't know if we're going to win. Like, you know, it's just, it's a lot tougher than it, it probably should be. Um, and that was something I wasn't used to. Any other questions right here in the front? 
asked um, Jalen this, but like you guys have come close in the playoffs, but you've had your shortcomings as well. Does that, over the course of your career, does it make you question anything that you're doing? Does it make you um, rethink some things, or, or do you kind of just continue on the path because you know, you kind of trust in what you're doing? A uh, little bit of both. You know, I'll be honest, for myself, there have been times where I question, uh, like, am, you know, am I the right person, you know, to kind of lead a, a group like this? Uh, and, you know, I never, like, doubted myself, but, you know, just moments after those, some of those losses and, you know, the, the tougher parts of the season, you know, it's human nature to kind of question, you know, yourself and things like that. But, you know, just always stick to what you believe in and trust in the work that you put in. Uh, you know, it can't rain forever. Say again. There's someone you lean on in those moments when you when you question yourself. There's someone you lean on in those moments. Uh, it's a group. This is a team sport. You know, we lean on each other in those moments. Um, you know, as hard as it can be at the end of those times, you just got to really come closer together. Gary, Jason, uh, you've talked about your relationship with your dad and him being kind of hard on you coming up and pushing you, but then it's kind of paid off, obviously with the gold medal and with this. How, how's the last year? How, have you guys communicated more, less? Have you kind of understood how hard, why he puts you so hard? I mean, when you reached the finals, what was the conversation like with him just, just to finally break through that door? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, me and my dad, we talk all the time, and uh, he definitely uh, challenged me uh, in some harsh ways and some tough ways as a kid, right? Uh, whether the, you know, I definitely give him credit. I wouldn't be here, uh, you know, without, without him and how hard he pushed me, uh, you know, to the extreme a lot of times. And it might have been tough on our, you know, father-son relationship, um, but I wouldn't change it. You know, because obviously the, the the man I grew into and, you know, the player. Uh, but, you know, yeah, he since I've gotten to the NBA, he's much more of a fan, much more of a parent, you know, not really coaching me and things like that. So, uh, you know, he'll be at these games, uh, you know, especially in the finals.